Hey, it's Eric with CartoonLearning.com. I told you I'd have a review of the new Anime Studio 8 character wizard, so I just wanted to get that out to you. So when you open up Anime Studio, you just click right up here, open up your character wizard. Now you have different presets that you can choose. So you have a man, woman, boy, girl, uh, creature, big head, mannequin. Um, and I just wanted to show you what was possible. So you can do the body, face, uh, movement, clothing, and style. So we'll start with the body. The one thing I don't like is you'll notice that these hands right here, they kind of screwed up because this line is characteristic of the palm of the hand, not the outside. So that kind of makes this useless. Uh, but you do have different hand choices in here. You've got uh, mittens, female hands, long fingers, simple. square, which is what we started with, and tune. So I'll just go with long fingers. All right, then you can check your different views. Here's your head on. And this is kind of nice because if something doesn't look right, you can adjust it in any of the views. So I think this is a pretty cool feature. I wish that uh, you had a little bit more choices, but there's a lot you can do with this. Let's go into the face. So you have to mess around with them to get them just right. And then you can move everything up or down. So like that, that's not going to work. So there are some things that, I mean, you really have to adjust, but for the most part, it does a pretty good job. The nice thing is you have different actions in here. This is what I want to show you. So you have walk cycles, and you can change your steps per second. And these are only available for Anime Studio Pro 8. Uh, if you get the debut version, you won't have these actions in there. But if you get the Pro version, you just open up your actions window and all these are available. So you can change your step distance, step height, arm swing, all this stuff. So there's walk, there's jump. which I don't really think these are very useful, but they're in there. But the walk is nice because you not only get this view, I mean, you still get the walk cycle in all the different views. And when it comes to walk cycles, the less you have to do, the better. I mean, 
in my opinion, if you ever use the walk cycle, I mean, this is worth it right here. Uh, but then, of course, you got clothing. You can do short or long pants. Uh, shirt, short or long. And then you can change all your colors and stuff. Um, and then there's something... Oh, the shoes. That's the one I missed. There's different shoes in here, too. So the nice thing is when you get done, oh, here's your styles too, sorry. So you can make them a little bit more tan. Uh, you can change his hair color. And then stroke color you can change. nice thing is you can change the stroke width too. Then when you get done, you just check Export All Views, and then click OK. And your character gets exported here. And then you just switch between which ones you want. And then you can just open up your actions window. I'll move this over here so you can see it. So it's already done for you. All right, now you can come into your bones and you can manipulate bones at any time. So your character's able to be used that way. I mean, he, he's useful. There's a lot you can do. But what I don't like is, like in this case, I have two hands for the front view, open and pointing. I wish they would have included a lot more hands, because two hands is basically useless. Uh, but if you decide to get Anime Studio 8 and you get my animationtrainer.com course, I'm actually giving away my hand pack, and there's a lot of different layers. So you can actually import my hand switch layers into here and then blend it with this body. So you'll have a pretty useful character. So just a, just an idea. A shameless plug, of course. All right, I went ahead and used the character wizard to try and create a few characters just so you could get an idea of, of what's possible. Um, so here they are. So there's a, a wide variety of things you can make. They do better when you have the uh, oversized body, or the oversized head and the uh, short, cartoony bodies. They don't seem to do as well when you try to make them realistic looking. They, it just doesn't fit for some reason. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this look, but uh, as you can see, this girl, this boy, this guy, I mean, they all look like pretty decent characters. I'll render them so you can get an idea of what they look like. There they are. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post them on either my YouTube channel or uh, on my webpage at cartoonlearning.com.